Hey everyone, in today's video, we're exploring the RSI trading strategy. We'll go through the entire process, from explaining how the strategy works, to optimizing it using FreckTrade, an open source trading bot, and finally running back tests to see how it performs. If you're looking for a complete, beginner-friendly FreckTrade tutorial, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Before we dive into the strategy, let's start by breaking down the key indicators we'll be using. 1. RSI The RSI, or Relative Strength Index, is a momentum indicator that measures the speed and change of price movements. The RSI value ranges from 0 to 100. Traditionally, traders use it to identify overbought and oversold conditions in the market. However, in this strategy, we're using RSI in a slightly different way. Instead of treating it as a reversal signal, we'll use it as a trend confirmation tool to help us identify when momentum is strong enough to support a trade in the direction of the trend. But we're not using the RSI value directly. Instead, we're applying an exponential moving average to the RSI, which smooths out the short-term noise and gives us a cleaner view of the underlying momentum. When the EMA of RSI crosses above 65, it indicates strong, bullish momentum, meaning buyers are dominant and the price is likely to continue moving higher. That's when we start looking for long positions. On the other hand, when the EMA of RSI crosses below 35, it signals bearish momentum, showing that sellers are in control and the trend may continue downward. This is when we start looking for short positions. Next up, let's talk about the EMA, or Exponential Moving Average. The EMA is a type of moving average that gives more weight to recent price data, which makes it more responsive to current market trends compared to a simple moving average. In this strategy, we'll be using the 200 EMA as a key trend filter. This means we won't just trade based on RSI signals alone. We'll also check the overall market trend. Here's how it works. We only take long positions when the price is above the 200 EMA, indicating an overall bullish trend. We only take short positions when the price is below the 200 EMA, signaling an overall bearish trend. By combining the EMA with the RSI strategy, we can trade in the direction of the main trend and reduce the risk of false signals from short-term price fluctuations. Now that we understand how each indicator works, Let's walk through how we combine them to identify trade setups and generate signals. To enter a long position, we wait for all of the following conditions to be met. 1. The smoothed EMA RSI crosses above 65. This signals strong bullish momentum, meaning the buyers are in control and the price is likely to move higher. 2. The price is above the 200 EMA. This confirms that we are trading in the direction of the main trend. Once both of these conditions are satisfied, we enter the long trade on the next candle. After entering, we place the stop loss just below the low of the signal candle to give the trade some breathing room and avoid getting stopped out by normal market fluctuations. We subtract 3.5 times the average true range ATR from the closing price of the signal candle. For the take profit, we use a 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. This means that once the price reaches the take profit level, we exit the trade and lock in our profits. To enter a short position, we wait for all of the following conditions to be met. 1. The smoothed EMA RSI crosses below 35. This signals strong bearish momentum, meaning the sellers are in control and the price is likely to move lower. 2. The price is below the 200 EMA. This confirms that we are trading caught in the direction of the main downtrend, which reduces the chance of false signals. Once both of these conditions are satisfied, we enter the short trade on the next candle. After entering, we place the stop loss just above the high of the signal candle. To give the trade some breathing room and avoid getting stopped out by normal market fluctuations, we add 3.5 times the average true range, ATR, to the closing price of the signal candle. For the take profit, we use a 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. This means that once the price reaches the take profit level, we exit the trade and lock in profits. Now that we understand the strategy, let's move on to optimization using FreckTrade. We'll be testing on the one hour time frame 
and splitting the data into two sets. In sample, eight months. Used for tuning and optimizing the strategy. Out of sample, four months. Used to test the strategy on unseen data and see how it performs in real market conditions. The key parameters we'll focus on optimizing include RSI upper threshold and RSI lower threshold. Determine the RSI levels for entering long or short trades. RSI length controls how many periods the RSI considers, affecting sensitivity to price changes. Holding days sets how long we typically hold a trade if it does not hit take profit or stop loss. Risk ratio and ATR multiplier define the stop loss distance and reward to risk ratio, which controls trade risk and position sizing. We'll use FreckTrade's HyperOpt feature to find the best combination of these parameters for maximum strategy performance. Once the optimization is complete, we'll run a full backtest to evaluate how the strategy performs using the optimal settings. All right, let's take a closer look at the backtesting results. We tested the strategy on Diot Perpetual Futures using a one hour time frame over the past year with the optimized settings. Here's what we observed. The strategy achieved a total return of 314%. By comparison, the market itself saw a return of around minus 32% during the same period. The maximum drawdown was 20%, which shows that while the strategy did experience some retracements, it effectively managed risk and maintained overall profitability. Next, we'll review a visual summary of these results. The strategy was optimized with eight months of in-sample data and then tested on four months of out-of-sample data, ensuring it performs reliably on unseen market conditions and isn't just curve-fitted to historical data. If you'd like access to the full strategy file, along with the complete step-by-step -step Trade tutorial, it's available to supporters through the link in the description. It's a great way to support the channel, and in return, you get everything you need to build, run, and customize this strategy on your own. There's also a pair-optimized version, which allows you to apply the strategy across multiple trading pairs, each with its own optimized parameters for improved performance. If you found this video useful, remember to subscribe, enable notifications, and share it with others who might benefit from it. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.